Hello, welcome to Test Fly RC. In this video, my brother and I will fly the Flight Test Beaver. Okay, so I'm going to plug in the battery. I'm going to use a 7.4 volt 2 cell, 530 milliamp. So I'm going to plug it in. And, oh, I gotta turn on the remote controller first. <laughs> yeah, this is my brother's DX8 remote controller. We're gonna use for it. Okay, plug it in. And there's dual rates set up on this transmitter, and they're connected to a switch, so. Uh, my brother can flip a switch so it can make it where there's less throws on the control surfaces. Okay, so that seems to be pretty good. And then this hatch just magnets to the, uh, this is a battery cover so it just um, magnets down and that's pretty nice. So. Yeah. Okay, so let's go fly it. The landing gear got kind of hurt, but we can fix that with some tape and we can fix the other things with some stuff and it seems uh, so it's still flyable, so let's go fly it some more. Okay. So uh, this is not really good land to land this thing on with the landing gear, so I'll probably take the landing gear off. Okay. Doesn't it fly pretty good? Yeah. Yeah. Once we get it all fixed up. Yeah, once we get it all fixed up and find a better place to fly it. <laughs> so this flight test beaver flies pretty good here at the cow pasture. And then sometime after we were done flying it, I fixed the flight test beaver. And then sometime after that, we took it down to a park that I used to fly airplanes at before. And we flew it there. This beaver doesn't have very big of wheels, so it doesn't want to take off in very long grass. Yeah. Flies pretty good. Flies pretty well. I think it might be a little too back heavy, so I'm gonna come bring it in for landing. I think I'll put the battery open for that. Oh! So what I'm going to do is I'm going to the battery a little bit more forward. The battery's a little more forward. Okay. Yeah, looks pretty good. It just it doesn't have any stable lot stabilization receiver in it. So, kind of windy. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I'll just carry it away a little bit. Yeah, I have a dual rate set up on that transmitter. So, it, it, it's on a switch. So, even though this receiver does not have any stabilization, uh, you can still have it where it has less rate, so it's less low on the control surfaces. So, okay, make sure you put up the elevator and do a lot of throttle. Yeah, that means it's on. Alright, it's not safe at all, so you just gotta remember that. Yeah, you're doing it pretty good. Got a windy thing. And you gotta concentrate on it so we don't lose the orientation. Because it's kinda uh, dust. You probably should keep it in front of us too. And 
and if you, if you want to later on, we can put uh, stabilization yeah. receiver in there. I'm 16. Okay, do you think she should bring it in for learning? Probably, she's probably going around for time and, 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 and thick and low. You can use water too, Makai, if you don't have to use thick and low. Okay. 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 Uh oh! <laughs> it's kind of hard to land because it comes yeah. in fast. Yeah. It comes in kind of fast and uh, this is kind of grass, so. It, it doesn't hurt it very much. Yeah. This is a really durable airplane. Yeah, except for this right here. Except for the landing gear fairings, yeah. so it's kind of not so durable. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and bye bye. Bye.